<laughs> Welcome back to Potty Break. We're in the middle of a series talking about how to help your kids through the holidays when they struggle. We're going to be talking today about kids that struggle with self-regulation. Imagine that stereotypical car teetering on the edge of a cliff that you see in those movies where the person's in the front seat and they don't know if they should move because if they do, it might send the whole car right over the edge. When you think about our kids, that's what they're like all the time. So that's why we think of these kids as having self-regulation problems. It doesn't take much disruption in their life to freak them out, to send them over that edge. And with our kids, it's really any kind of inconsistency can cause them to go over the edge. And when you think about it, as adults, we're really no different. If you were expecting to spend all weekends with a good book in front of the fire, that sounds uh, like fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you pulled out the book and you sat in front of the fire and one of the pipes burst, and now you gotta clean out a room and pull out carpets, you're gonna be very frustrated, but you got the capacity to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Our kids don't have the capacity to deal with it. So even tiny little changes mm -hmm. can upset the apple cart. You know, when we talk about self regulation problems with kids, one of the very first things we want to do is get them on a very consistent schedule. We want routine. And so what did you do as a mom during those off school times and that kind of stuff to just keep consistency? Well, I did do a lot of scheduling and I'll be honest, at times it was very hard and frustrating that I even had to do it. It really helped our kids and their behaviors. And I found that when I didn't schedule, things would spiral out of control very quickly. Mm -hmm. So there were times in the summertime that I literally scheduled out in 30 minute increments the entire day. Mm -hmm. I actually posted the schedule and so they could look and see, okay, at 9.30 we are doing a puzzle. Maybe at 10 o'clock then we're gonna move on to an art project or reading time. And, and I would plan out every moment for them. Because emotionally they were more like five-year-olds, it really helped to have that type of a structure. Now for an older child, um, one that's emotionally older, they can handle bigger chunks of time. Yeah, so ask yourself, how long can your kids stay at one activity before they start freaking out? And if that's 15 minutes, then just schedule those blocks of time in those size of increments. And you don't necessarily have to put in the schedule exactly what they're doing, like a puzzle, but you could say, table time or, or creative time and they could pick Legos or clay mm -hmm. or you could do outside time so they could play with snow or they could play mm -hmm. with their bikes. So they have some choice within those times but then those times are set and they know what to expect every day. Mm -hmm. And especially for those kids who struggle with food issues, we have a lot of kids that we work with who did not get fed as babies and so they really struggle even now years later. So knowing when lunch is coming sometimes can be very helpful that they know they're going to get fed. Even mm -hmm. though they, they, in the back of their mind, they really know you are, but seeing it on the schedule can sometimes really help them. Mm -hmm. We're going to post down in the show notes um, a link to our Pinterest board where we'll show you a lot of great ideas that parents have had about how to do visual schedules with paper clips and ribbons and, and boards. There's also some great products from Melissa and Doug that you can get on Amazon that are, are there charts and then you can just fill it in on the whiteboard because it changes every day. On the next one, we have a little bit more to talk about on self-regulation and how to help our kids through the holidays. We're looking forward to seeing you then. Until then, don't forget to flush. Don't forget to wash your hands.